Okay. Got over my shock and awe of the weekend. Woke up on Sunday morning. And the world was a different place. Where not one, but two Shans were champions. And then we got some mail. And then we sold a bunch of cards. The pick your card listings on eBay got a few hundred panini prisms excuse me while i close the door it's fun to just put them all in one listing you only get charged for the single listing insertion so you don't actually get insertion fees you get your 250 listings per month free right and then nobody can badger you about price they can just buy it or not or they can send you a dm and make an offer on a bunch of stuff so i actually just sold like 16 cards of varying degrees of condition. This is a nice jock. Nice, nice. Uh, let's try to get some light. Well centered silver, Jocelyn Buckley, 21, 21, 21. A lot of Derek, a lot of heavyweights in this lot. And we got some Volkovs probably from uh, this weekend. We got some 21 Khabib. 22 could be there, some 22 select. Just some names, you know? Had them listed for like three to five bucks each. 16 card lot came out to about 100 bucks. So that's nice. I was happy about that. So thanks to the buyer. And what I'll do is I'll try to throw a bunch of singles in of like base 2021 prism. And then The chicken one of one breaks came in in the mail. The finest. That's not, you know, that's the big hit. <clears throat> yeah, maybe I would have paid the same, maybe not, for the GSP matte relic to 188 or to 88, to 188. But they look, they truly do look. The refractors look pretty. Hector Lombard. Shogun Hua, the Struve insert. This is the Valor and Honor and Strength inserts, but this is the base, so it has no word on it. And I think the if there's a word across the top, it's in a numbered insert. So gold, Vitor, to 88. These might have become my new favorite parallel because the they are very pretty jose aldo glover insert the moose gigard uh mcmahon to 88 makes me happy and then i struck out on the auto brian the atv bandit caraway so whatever it's fine Makes me happy. We got all our mail. We got a bunch of base cards. And then we got some 2020 packs that we opened looking for Zhang Wei Li relics and finding none. Just a bunch of base. Song Yadong rookie. Izzy. Rachich, Augustus Kai rookie, and a Lauren Murphy lucky refractor. Does it not? It does not actually say refractor on it. So struck out on those, but Chicken was selling them for eight bucks a piece, eight bucks a pack on uh, whatever it is, eBay. I feel like hunting for some uh, Zhang Wei Li rookies. Still don't have one. Actually, I do have one. I bought one base one. Wouldn't mind a parallel, though. Oh, and I should tell you, uh, I recovered from my shock of pulling that John, that Bones, John Bones auto. Sorry, I, you know, I just, I didn't have it in me to scream bang when I pulled this. It will get submitted to PSA tonight as a single card submission. I don't have anything else really worth sending there. 
I mean, maybe I do. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I do. Rows to one oh one twenty five for rows. R patch auto ruby patch auto. I don't know. Maybe I maybe I have some stuff I should send with it. I don't know. It seems like a lot of money for grades that I don't necessarily trust. So if I'm looking for value, sure, but oh, all these packs are upside down. What's it mean? What's it mean when they're all upside down in the box? I don't know. What's in here? Two autographs per box. Tops 2020 flagship. The last year Tops had it. Some pretty pedestrian pictures most of the time. You'll see you'll see it with this Andrage. That's on the back here. Like mostly just fighters at the cage getting introduced. Megan, same thing. Usman, highlight reel, same thing. Jeremy Stevens, a lot of fighters getting introduced photos. Future stars, Sakai, just had, uh, Goken Saki, sorry. Uh, pretty nice Bloodlines cards, though. These are cool. I do like those. And uh, the rest of the pack, we've got Gentleman Jack Hermanson, Hakeem Doadu. Is that a rookie? It is not. That's a future stars. Tatiana Suarez and Dustin Poirier. So you can get packs that have fuck all in them as well, which is nice. Add those to the stack. Got to, We got to pull until we hit something interesting. Rachel Ostovich, future star of BKFC. Uh, Tony, Arnold Allen. Ooh, we got a refractor. Nice. Kevin Lee, Joanne Calder Wood, Wood Calder Wood Wood, Corey Corey Anderson, Juliana Pena, Antonina Antonina Shevchenko, future star. I don't know about that. Dan Hooker and Calder Wood Wood, a Kevin Lee refractor, not numbered. Right? Not numbered? Not numbered. I wouldn't mind seeing a number. Start to get the idea as to why these are only a couple hundred bucks. What is it? That, what is the chase in these even? I don't know. Pack number three. Rookie card in the back. Looks like it could be a red card. I don't know. Hey, Zhang Weili highlight reel. Rookie year highlight reel is not the rookie card. Numbered to 90. Come on, focus. Numbered to 98. Highlight reel does not have the rookie shield on it. Gaethje. Benavidez. Future star Johnny Walker. Kind of. Blonde fighter. Human backpack. And DC, that's that's nice to get those right in a row like that. Steepitch, DC, in the in a row. Hey, Mara Romero Barella and uh, Jeff Neal. Look at that. That's numbered too. That's to eighty-eight. Oh, that's to fifty. See, this is the black. That's the black. That's the black. Oh, that's good. That's good. Jeff Neal rookie card too. Let's get that in the sleeve. That's a good card. Makes me happy. You gonna like? I'm not gonna pretend I know who she fought last or who she's gonna fight next, but it does make me happy to get an out of fifty numbered auto like that. Mara Romero Barella flyweight, forty one out of fifty. All right. We got a we got a Zhang Wei Lee base highlight reel. A Kevin Lee refractor and a Mar out of three packs. We already pulled one of the autos. Good. Great. Good.
Oh man. I'm trying to get stoked. I'm just I'm not I'm not I'm not feeling it quite yet. I'm not stoked. Last thing will rip. And then we'll then we'll be stoked. This 2016 knockout. Uh, I did talk to Broke on cardboard a bit about 2016 knockout. All sticker autos. No on card autos. Let's see what we got here. I'll show you. It's it's uh. There's a Waterson first auto, but it's a sticker. And then, and then we can get like a small mat or a big napkin patch, as the chicken man calls them. There's a Luke Rockhold sticker, sticker relic auto. So we got a, a relic auto and an auto left in this box. We got one pack after this one. And no, I'm not wearing gloves because I don't care. Base Romero. Connor. Dos Santos, ooh, welterweight Johnny Hendricks. Ah, oh, that's a good card. Benny, 2016 Benil Dariush knockout. Nice. Eddie Alvarez, too. Ah, oh, that's good. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hold. Oh, oh, I just saw what it was. Oh, no. I can't let the surprise. I saw one name, and I saw what it was. I didn't see who else it was because it's a duel. First, an Andre Arlovsky at a 227. I think that's called a silver. And a Derek Brunson out of 90, 99 of 99. Derek Brunson. 99 of 99. I think maybe that's gold. I got to look it up because they all kind of look the same matte color. Oh, okay, phew. Congratulations. Welterweight Robbie Lawler. <sighs> Holy shit. Wow. Let me let me put this in a sleeve. I never, I did not know these were in this set. I didn't know. Uh, the corners are bashed on this card. It's not a 10. It's okay. Thoughts from the boss. I never thought I would hold one of these in my hands. Get that lazy asshole signature. The ruthless Robbie Lawler. I saw Robbie Lawler and I was like, oh, I don't know what that is. I'm not going to look. Let me read you as you read. And I quote, he's getting older now and he's not this young crazy kid anymore. He's got a wife and he's got kids. And now it's about taking a run at the title before the opportunity goes away. And he's doing it. He's a completely different person than he used to be. I've been a fan, whether he was with us or with somebody else. I'm really happy for him. Sick. Authentic. Thoughts from the boss. Dual auto from 2016. Tops UFC knockout of Dana White and Robbie Lawler. That is insanity. So I think he's uh, referring to Robbie. So 2016 was right around when Condit, Hendricks, GSP, and Lawler were all horse trading for the belt. And Robbie beat Hendricks, but lost. They gave it to Hendricks, if I recall correctly. Now I got to look this up. All right. All right. So there's heat in those old boxes. There's 50 of those made. And if you don't buy those old boxes, no one's ever going to find them. To Tapology. Tapology.com. This dude. Hall of Famer. 
one of the nicest retirements the UFC has ever given anyone. Robbie lost that decision to Hendricks. This was after probably fight of the universe fight. Oh no, this was before that fight. So he lost that decision to Hendricks. Pretty sure that was for the belch. For the vacant welterweight championship after GSP got hurt, they stripped him or he wanted to retire. Any, you know, Dana's Dana's doing the Dana thing. Wanted nothing more than Robbie to get that belt, really, because he's just a company guy. He's just fight, fight, fight. Then he went. Then he decision. KO Jake Ellenberger decision. Matt Brown decision split over Hendricks and got the championship. And then fought Rory McDonald. And that was that fight of the universe, that fight that I show people to get them into MMA that fight in 2015. So when Dana was quoted this, no clue, probably some press conference around that time. Beat Carlos Condit in a split decision and then lost lost Tyron Woodley when Tyron threw his whole butt into a punch and got him. That's what I remember, and that's what Tapology tells me. So my memory can't be too far off. What a dis- what a what an insane card. So so we got that, and then we haven't even pulled the relic out yet. Are you ready? There it is. GSP and Rashad Evans dual relic from 2016 knockout. What a pack! Out of 88, 51 of 88. Just insanity. Maybe I do have something else to send to PSA. Holy shit. Dominant duos, dual relic card from 2016 knockout. Just insane. Dude. A lot of welterweight in my life lately. Dude, these boxes. If you want to break, if you want to break some old product, get on eBay with Chicken One of One. He's got some old product that has shit like this in it. Just an incredible pack. I can't even imagine what's in the last one. I don't even want to know. The last one has a relic auto in it. Who freaking knows, man? I'm speechless. I don't even know what to do with this. I love Robbie. I have a lot of his cards. I'll probably keep that card. Unless it's worth a ton of money. Yikes. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. All right. I got to ship these. I got to figure out what to do with that. And I got to catalog everything else. So we got our work cut out for us. I will have to talk to you next week. Because this is insane. Here we go. Gem Mint Genki Sudo. Blessing these boxes. Maybe next week we'll do the 2018 Museum. Maybe. We'll see. We'll talk to you later. Bye.